it. Guys, Mikkel's not too far behind, um, so we will crack on straight away. Who wants to kick us off? Yeah, okay. Hi, Gabriel. Hi. How much are you and the players relishing this stage of the season with the big games coming on a regular basis? Sorry, can you repeat, please? How much are you excited and looking okay. forward to the big, the, the big games are coming regularly? Uh, well, that's the best part of the season, you know, for everyone who is still in life in Champions League or, and also fighting for something in Premier League and day leagues. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's excited, like you said, because now is the decided games, you know, uh, now is the small details count. So, yeah, now is everyone fit again and then I uh, hope everyone can... Uh, give it extra and help the team. Have you been surprised by Bayern Munich's league form and, and can you take advantage of their struggles over these two matches? Well, uh, I think no team in the world is perfect, you know, and then uh, also we are talking about Bayern. Uh, everyone knows uh, their history, you know. Uh, they won uh, a lot of titles in Champions League as well and then uh, also in the Bundesliga. So everyone knows the quality of the club, the quality of amazing quality of the players, and then uh, well, it doesn't matter if they struggle last game or last two or three games, they still buy it, and then they can come and hurt us. So that's uh, the thing we have to to think and to have in our mind. Uh, it doesn't matter if they lose lost the last game, they still buy it. How do the Arsenal players feel about Harry Kane returning? Well, uh, Evi knows here and uh, knows the quality of Hurricane. For me personally, is the, the best finish in the world. So uh, uh, it's uh, it's a great to to obviously play against these kind of players. So and obviously uh, we want to keep him quiet in the game. Uh, and then we try to win the game. And also, it's not on, only Harry Kane, but a lot of players like, you know, Sane, my old friend, uh, Musiala, Coman, uh, Miller, what a player. So it's a lot, you know, Gennabri. So, yeah, they have uh, quality players there. Just finally, for me, you look back at this stage of the season, last campaign, what did you, as a group of players, learn from that? that can help you going into the final games of this season? Well, uh, I think the most important thing now is the fitness of the group. I think uh, it's, it's only JT now out, but he's coming back soon, I hope. Uh, and then this is good. Like I said before, this gives us extra power. You know, uh, we have a, a big squad with a lot of difference, you know, Quality and then everyone wants to play, of course. But unfortunately, it's it's, it's on the only eleven. But yeah, we learn. Also, you you have to you know see the small details. You know, in the match you can do like uh, uh, different things, but you have to do the small details as well. Like we are doing now. You know, I think defensively we are everyone running back you know, and then help the team. So that's make difference. Moose? Hi, Gabby. Um, there aren't too many players in this Arsenal squad that have played in Champions League quarterfinals. You're, you're one of them. Um, how much does your experience, with your experience, count? I think, uh, like you say, it's a few of the players, but also uh, we are talking about Champions League, of course, but... Um, Everyone here played in the biggest stage and before, you know. Uh, so I think everyone is prepared, you know. I think if you, if you, we go there and face like obviously it's not another game. It's a big, huge game, and then uh, he'll be a battle there. But we, if we go there to think about, oh, let's enjoy it, you know, and then uh, try to to be happy on the pitch, that he'll help a lot. Top of the Premier League right now, so it was a chance of being champions in this country. Quarterfinals of the Champions League and with a chance of being champions of Europe. It must be massively exciting in the squad at the moment. Yeah, of course. Like I said, we have a, a big squad now, you know, with a lot of quality. You know, everyone can go there, play and help. And then also, 
uh, like I said before, is the best part of the season. There, uh, there is a lot of deciding games, and then the most excited part. You've highlighted the good players that Bayern Munich have got, and obviously their reputation. But this season has been poor for them. Do you think you start this tie as favourites? Uh, well, I don't think we are favourites, but you know, like I said, it's uh, quite a final of Champions League. If we arrive there, it's because. We deserve it and we have a quality also. But we are talking about Bayer, you know, uh, we have to respect them. And then uh, obviously we have to face them like, you know, uh, OK, they are Bayer, but we are Arsenal. But I think the same way we, we respect them, they respect us as well. So I think there is no favour and that will be a big game and rouge battle. And what part of the fans, the fans play tomorrow? Sorry? What part of the fans play tomorrow? What? Uh, like always they do, you know, since I arrived in the club, uh, I was like a little bit, you know, um, excited with the fans, you know, because at the, se- at the first time I, I have seen uh, being an Arsenal player, I, I was like, wow, the fans help push us a lot, you know, and the, this season when we consider goals, they, was, they were like celebrating when like uh, happens in the derby with Jorginho, they were singing Jorginho's name. So that's, that's you cannot describe, you know, uh, you just feel it. So they, they help and they push us a lot. George? Yeah, well, you, know, you, you haven't won the Champions League, so I just wondered how much would it mean to you personally and, and do you think Arsenal are capable of winning it this season and, and the Premier League? Well, I agree <laughs> up watching Premier League, like I said before here, you know. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I want... I think all the the players here, the club won it as well. So yeah, uh, well we are in the quarterfinals. Everything can happen, you know. If we can minimize like the 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 the, the, the small details, like I said, uh, we will be like you with more chances. But still, still have two big games battle to play, uh, and then uh, let's see. Uh, just in terms of at Brighton on Saturday, all the players seem to be working so hard for each other and to get the ball back. I just wondered what's the atmosphere like amongst yourselves? You seem like a real strong group that you're fighting so hard for the rewards at the end of the season. I think is uh, the season is two different parts, of course. The beginning and at the end. And then we, when you arrive at the end of the season uh, fighting for something, uh, I think it doesn't matter if you play like 10 minutes or 5 minutes, you want to help the team win games. So I think everyone now with this spirit to go there and help. Uh, it doesn't matter how, but help to to keep clean sheet. For example, we are doing a, a great job, you know. And to face Bayer with this this uh, fitness, this you know courage to 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 come back and help is is massive plus for us. So yeah, I think everyone uh, ha- is really happy to help. Thank you, James. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Maybe he can explain to you, me not. But in my opinion, I think he he can finish with head, with left, with right. And then it's like good finishing, you know. So, yeah, the guy, the guy, since I arrived in Europe, for me, is is, uh, in that time one of the best. And this time for me is the best finish in the world. Uh, you know what? I don't. I don't watch players to try to take something out of them. You know, I watch to 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 enjoy it. You know, I think all the players uh, have their own uh, qualities. Like I am, uh, like this. I have my own quality. You know, I don't try to copy some someone. But obviously, you see like him finishing. You you want to keep seeing. You know, watching and then uh, uh, just enjoy it. Uh, they deserve a lot, you know. Uh, Willy Lazia, unfortunately, he had an injury uh, that cost uh, the second part. And then Gabi, if you see the way he work, he you he'll be impressed. And then it's just paying off, you know, because they work a lot. And then uh, also, I hope uh, I think everyone at Arsenal hope they keep fit, 
till the end of the season, then we we have a big chance to win trophy. And just finally for me, do, do you feel a responsibility to speak to the younger players at this part of the season who haven't been this far in the competition, they haven't won the Premier League, you know, to help them keep calm? Do you feel you have an important role off the pitch as well as on it at the moment? Yeah, I think uh, I talk about this a couple of, of times before. Uh, well, it's it's good to go there and speak sometimes, you know. But I, I I'm a, like a player or person like you know. If they come to ask, I he'll I, he'll tell them, you know. Or if I I see something that I can tell and then help them, I he'll do, you know. Uh, but I don't think he is uh, kids anymore, you know. Like everyone played in the biggest uh, stage in the in football, World Cup, Premier League, Champions League now. So. I think everyone here is ready to to help Arsenal. So he, if they come and ask me something, I will do for sure. Art. Hi, Gabriel. Um, earlier you were talking about going onto the pitch happy, and I was just wondering when you think about your qualities. How do you know when you're playing at your best? From the outside, it looks like you're very skillful when you're happy on the pitch. I was just wondering what qualities you feel you bring uh, to the table best. Well, me, I think uh, I play my best when I'm on the pitch, you know, happy playing, of course. And then, uh, like I said, we have a big uh, squad with a lot of quality, you know. And then, uh, obviously, sometimes you will play, sometimes not. Uh, this is not the players who are going to choose or not. Uh, the games he's going to play or not. But, like I said, when I'm on the pitch, I think I'm with big smile on my face. That's make me play better matter where you're playing because on um, Saturday Sunday you played on the last two games yeah, yeah. so yeah uh, I try to help the team you know like I said this part of the season you don't you you don't have to think about yourself you know you have to think about what the best for the team so I'm trying to do it but it's not easy you know who play football <laughs> knows what I'm talking about you know and then I'm I'm I just want to win so I want to be on the pitch of course but like I said, this part of the season, you have to uh, put away your ego and then uh, try to help uh, the best way the team. You mentioned as well small details a lot. I was just wondering for you, what are those small details that you have to remind yourself of? Well, the small details is, uh, well, normally we cannot see. You know, maybe we, if we run back and cut one ball, one, one long ball, this can be go, you know, and then you're like a little bit tired in the... Uh, in the on the pitch and then you don't do it and then you suffer a counter attack and maybe go so there's more details normally you cannot see because if you do the right thing and uh, it's not gonna happen a bad thing so uh, that's what I mean. Yes, Sam. Gabi, you're back fully fit and firing again. What's it been like in the past year how to deal with these constant injury setbacks from mental point of view? Uh, that's a good question from you because normally I don't talk about this and then. I, me personally, I don't want to talk about my, my fitness, like, oh, what's going on with Gabi, his fitness, you know. Uh, well, after World Cup, you know, uh, I had that injury in the knee, and then, uh, well, I recovered it so good, and then I have sit back after in the preseason, and then I, I had to go and open and do again a small one, and then after I come back, and then, uh, well, I played like three games in a row, 90 minutes. And then again, the knee. And then after in the training, I, I, I had a kick on my knee. So again, another side. So this kind of thing, people know, uh, don't know this, you know. Um, I'm just trying to get fit and help help Arsenal as, soon, uh, as much I can, you know. But uh, unfortunately, I'm having some problems this season. And I hope next season I don't have it. I hope, yeah. Sometimes I feel it, but I don't remember the last day I played football without pen, you know, so I cannot complain. I, I'm just trying to, to, to recover good, in a good way, you know, to, to be ready next game. And then that's it. So mentally, I, I, I try to keep it strong in my mind, you know, to try to help the team. And then that's it. You're a quality striker. From your point of view, how do you think Arsenal stop? 
Uh, it's staying with the ball. Uh, and then uh, obviously <laughs> this question maybe is uh, more for the defensive part you know <laughs> i don't know how to stop him uh, but i think uh, one good way is staying with the ball and finally with david Ryan, he's coming this season what have you made of his performances his clean sheets loads of saves how have you, what have you got to his performances yeah he's so good keeper you know and good person as well you know before i only him know i only know him uh, play against and then when he joined the the club, he was uh, we can see uh, he's a very good guy and then uh, amazing keeper like Aaron. You know we have a two I think uh, very good keepers. So yeah, he's helping a lot. Simon. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. They are tough. You know they are strong. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, it's hard to pass them, you know, but sometimes they, uh, we pass them, you know, but I don't want to kill their the confidence for the game. <laughs> <laughs> you spoke about this group not being kids anymore. How different is the squad from when you arrived 18 months ago to the squad you see now? In the I think uh, we believe more as a team, you know, as a group, squad. And then, um, well, uh, last season uh, we played amazing first part of the season till till January there, and then after we start to struggle a little bit, and then this season was opposite. So if we we can do first season last season, first part last season, second this, it'll be an amazing season. But the real life is different, you know. Uh, so now I think. Uh, because maybe we passed this in the past. Now we are more ready. We are more confident. We are more like you know matured. Kaya. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in Premier League I have a good stats as well, but people don't want to see. Uh, if you see my starters or this kind of, you know, people like to see stats, you know, I don't mind. I want to win games and trophies. At the end, everyone happy, you know, but obviously I'm a striker. I want to score. I have to score. So I try. Uh, but I don't know what's happening in Champions League, like you uh, ask me. Uh, but I just try to enjoy. Uh, doesn't matter which competition is. I try to enjoy myself there and then help the team the best way I can. James? Hi, Gabby. You spoke about happiness on, on the pitch. A lot of players with number nine on the back might be unhappy doing the job you did against Man City a few weeks ago, playing almost as a left-back and a striker. Do, do you enjoy that? It seems like you do. Well, uh, if... Like I said, you know, I don't want to, to, to come here and say, oh, okay, Gabi don't care about being playing as a winger and then uh, his position normally is nine. Like I said, that this part of the season, I will not complain. No. I will never complain, you know. I just want to work and then, uh, well, when I get my chance, I, I will show the manager, everyone, or I don't know, for myself as well. Uh, I... I, I the reason why uh, I have to play, but this part of the season, uh, like I say, I put my ego on side, and then um, aside, and then I I just help the best way, and then uh, he'll do what the manager ask want, and then I uh, he'll help the team, you know, the best way. But obviously, it's not easy for for no no not only for me, but for Eddie as well. You know, Eddie, if you see the way he works, is is unbelievable. And Kai is amazing, having amazing uh, games, he's scoring, you know, helping a lot. So that's the the price you have to pay to be in a rich club, and then uh, you you have to fight. Uh, to play. If you want to play, the best way uh, you have to do is uh, trying to help when you get your chance or when, like uh, in my case, the, the manager wants me to play uh, as a winger. Just, just on that, there's been a lot of speculation that Arsenal might look to sign a striker in the summer. Do you feel like in the next few weeks and months you can show Mikel Arteta and Edu they don't need to do that? Uh, well, they already know if they, they want or not. 
So this question maybe is not for me again. This is for them. My my job is to try to to work, to train uh, hard, to to improve what I have to improve, and in the games try to to help Arsenal win games, and then after obviously win trophies. Uh, and uh, the speculation always he'll be there. No, not only here, but every club. So people wanna you know uh, decide who the club. Uh, wanna sign? This is is happening not just in the Arsenal, but a lot of clubs. Okay, guys, last couple. Jordan, did you have one? I oh, am. Yeah. Um, just talking about because your position moves about a bit. Do you think it's un- unfair when people compare you to Harry Kane, and Erling Haaland, and they expect you to get similar numbers? I think even if they if even if I'm playing in a position like they play in every game, I think it's unfair because we are. A different type of player. That's my my own uh, um, idea. What I have, my opinion. So it's a little bit unfair. And then, um, like you said, thank you for, for saying that. Not many uh, people wanna look at the, the 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 game like you normally you you ask. So you, I think you 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 watch the games. So yeah, I have played this season maybe. 14% in wing, so people only <laughs> want to know the, the the result and if I score or no. So that's the football today, you know, people want to start, people want to, uh, okay, Gabi have, I don't know, one game in one month, but look at how many games I play, how many minutes, you know, you understand, it's not only with me, but with a lot, a lot of strikers or players happen this, but like I say, he'll never compare, or, uh, complain, or compare with someone. He always try to work and then come here when they ask me to come and then say the the true what I think, not the true what I think, my own qu- uh, opinion, you know. And um, Arsenal have never done a league in European double before. So how special would that be? And Kind of, are you already talking about it as a team that, that, that you could do this this season? It's kind of, I mean, top of the league and you're in the quarterfinals, so it's possible, but you could do a double this season. Well, uh, I think he'll be a amazing achieve if we do this, but it's early to, to, to think about this, you know. We have to uh, face each game like a final. And then uh, at the end, in the last month, May, we can be there, you know, fighting, uh, and then uh, we can st- we start to think about it. But I think it's too early to, to think, but obviously it's a great achieve. Guys, sorry, we're going to have to stop there because Mikel's on his way. Thank you. Thank you.